Oh, this bright light is not for me. I close my eyes and imagine I'm home. I miss the days when life was simple. What if I never tried to follow that rainbow in search of the particle? TNN.com, I'm here with Game. How's it going, Game? It's going good, man. So, uh, first off, just tell us what you're doing out here in the uh, City of Industry. It's a little event you're doing. I'm filming the uh, last episode for the Dove Magazine project. Nice. Are you, what's your involvement with it? Um, I'm the host. Nice. Yeah, sort of like what um, Casey Kasem was to the radio, you know? Sort of like what, um, you know, Chick Hearns was to the Lakers, you know? Sort of like what Kevin Sorge and James is to Nightbeat. Yeah, sure. Okay. What kind of what kind of cars they got in there? They feature in stuff. Um, they got all kind of shit, man. Aston Martins, Phantoms. They got like um, Kawasaki Terex, which is like an off road um, off road two seater. Shit's crazy. Got like Kawasaki dirt bikes. Got like they got like everything. Man. Nice. What's your favorite joint in there? My favorite joint is probably like that California OG Kush. That's like my favorite joint. <laughs> right. Yeah. To drive. Oh, the drive. I mean, it'll drive you insane depending on how many times you hit it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the truth, man. Now, tell us about the, uh, the album, man. The album's going to get ready to drop, man. Oh, Talk man. about the, how you feel. Album, Red Album. Red Album is the best album coming out this year, man. Guaranteed. That ain't, you know, any, but, you know, I, I'm waiting to see. I got to watch the throne joint, and um, I appreciate his contribution to hip hop. But um, I think the Red Album, you know what I'm saying, is, is going to be a crazy album. Um, the Carter 4, I think that's going to be dope too. I can't wait to see what, um, what Wayne put together, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Um, so, yeah, speaking on, you know, Watch the Throne, that's a big collaboration ar album between, you know, several artists. What would you do if you had to, you know, link up with someone on the West Coast and make a West Coast, like, watch, type, watch the Throne type thing for the West Coast? Um, if I had to link up with somebody on the West Coast, it would be... First and foremost, it would be Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Snoop is my dude, so I think that would be crazy. That would be a crazy, like, collaborative effort right there, man. You think the West Coast needs something like that to, uh, you know, get it popping? What do you um, think about that? I don't think the West Coast needs anything. I think we've been fine. I think we've been perfectly fine doing what we've been doing, um, the, you know, forever, man. The West Coast don't need nothing. We straight. We got anything we need. You know, we got, like, we got the dub, you know what I'm saying? We don't For sure. Need Coast that could throw up the dub. We ride with that. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, man, tell me about, about some of the songs you've been dropping off Red Album. I know you did a video for Red Nation and yeah. a couple other joints, you Pot of Gold and stuff. Jordan Blocks and your Jordans. I'm gonna check that out. Let me see. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is handcrafted wood, you know what I'm saying? And it goes in depending on, you know, what size your foot is and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy. I just wanted to know if anybody else got wood blocks in the joints. Definitely, man. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, about these videos uh, that you guys have been shooting, the songs you've been dropping, tell me about some of those so we can just check them out and, you uh, know. The videos, man, we shot, um, we shot Pot of Gold with Chris Brown. That was, um, that was crazy. That's not me farting. It's just the chair. <laughs> All right? But, yeah, man, we shot the Pot of Gold video with, um, with the boy Chris Brown, and, um, that video taken off, you know what I'm saying? It rose to, um, like the top of, um, 106 and Park Countdown, like, you know, it's doing real good, viral, the song is like all on the radio, it's crazy. Definitely, how, how was that shoot? How was that whole thing going down, the process um, of that? The shoot was cool, man, Brian Barber directed it, you know what I'm saying, Tato TV was in the house, and, um, you know, it was, it was dope, man, it was, it was shot, you know, in the hood, and, um, in LA, and um, we just, I, I had a blast doing it, man, but the thing about me is that I don't ever know what's going on, I kind of just show up, and do whatever the director tells me to do. Um, I trust my team. Brian Barber is a friend of mine. He also shot um, the Wouldn't Get Far video for me in my life. So, you know, like, I trust him. You know what I'm saying? And his eye and his camera and his crew. Definitely, definitely. It's a dope video. Um, how, what about the uh, Red Nation one? I know that yeah. MTV wasn't really feeling it at first, but now they kind of changed their mind. Yeah, that's kind of retarded too, because the thing about that is that, like, if you ain't going, if you're going to ban it, just ban it. But, you know, after a while, man, after like 10 million YouTube hits and Vivo hits, like, I guess they had to fall in line, man. But me and MTV, you know, we got a good rapport, Viacom, BT, like, I got, you know, a lot of respect and love for them. Plus, 
I understood that maybe the video um, wasn't suitable for their demographics. So, um, you know, I got kids, and so sometimes you just gotta take a backseat and understand, man, you know? Definitely. So, yeah, speak. can you speak on that, just about, like, you know, dealing with, you know, mainstream media? Like, you, you know, you have a fan base regardless, but uh, how do you feel about, you know, if the radio or somebody, you know, isn't maybe, or MTV may not mess with it, but, you know, just, you still push it, you know? I don't give a fuck. Just people can run their business how they want to run their business. MTV, Viacom, BET, anybody, man. Like, you run your, y'all run your website however y'all feel like. If y'all feel a certain way about games, please display it. You know what I'm saying? Let people know exactly how you feel about me, because I'm not holding my time. I'm going to let everybody know how I feel about whoever. The website, uh, MTV, BET, I'm like, I'm not holding my tongue for nobody, man. So if you have anything to say about game that's negative or positive, just, you know, just say it, man. It all keeps my name for it. It's all good with me. Cool, man. So uh, you've been doing a lot of work with uh, with uh, Wayne on, uh, you know, on Red Album, just in general, man. Tell me about how you guys, you know, your relationship and, you know, what he's um, been talking to you about. Tone is, tone is my homie, man. And um, it's, like, it's like my blood brother, man. Got a lot of love for him and Slim and Baby, the whole Cash Money, um, Young Money crew from Nicki Minaj, Ray Down and Drake and Tigers, you know, the little homie, you know, doing a tremendous, you know, amount of things for, uh, you know, for the state of West Coast hip hop. So um, it's just all love, man. Anytime I got something crazy, I'm definitely going to um, call Wayne first because we collab, you know, we make dope collaborative efforts and, uh, you know, people always love it. Definitely. Uh, I remember hearing a little while ago that you said you were thinking about maybe making a move to cash money at some point in the future, possibly. Um, I don't, you never know what the future holds, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got one more album that I owe Interscope, so let's let that, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's let that see the light of day before we get to talk about what I'm going to do after that, because I got obligations there. And after that, you know, we'll, you know, who knows, man. Cool, man. So how, how's Interscope feeling the album now that it's about to drop pretty soon? Um, they got to be feeling it if it's about to drop. So, yep. Um, Interscope has been um, real supportive of me my whole career. Like I said, it's my fourth album. Um, they wouldn't have put four albums out if they didn't believe in me, and um, I wouldn't have the motivation to record and uh, get them to you know uh, the point where they can be released if I didn't trust and believe in my label. So um, Interscope, Gaffer, D U K, it's you know it's all a big business for me. Awesome, man. So I know I know Dre is you know taking a big part in your album. Yes. It's actually featured on one of the tracks. Um, you know, tell me about that, you know, his involvement in the album now that it is about to drop. Anytime you can have Dr. Dre featured or, or, you know, part of anything that you do musically, it's going to be crazy, man. So shout out to the good doc for always holding it down, look out, go after Map Camp, you know what I'm saying, from uh, Curious Zone down to Vito and Rob. Um, it's just, it's just always love, man. The doc, the doc is the man. He comes through for me every time, and I appreciate it. I appreciate him and, and all of his efforts. That's why, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in there helping him grind, trying to, you know, get to where, you know, detox and hit the show. Definitely. I know uh, when you first were working on the album, you were doing a lot of stuff with Pharrell. Yeah. What kind of part is he still having in the project right now? Um, Pharrell is the executive producer of the album, and um, it's going to remain that way. Um, he wasn't in the studio every single day, but the days he wasn't, he was on the phone, um, he was emailing ideas back and forth, and so he kind of oversaw the album and uh, really executive producer from wherever he was in the world, and he kept the main priority for him. So um, I kept him, you know, in his, in his space, which was an executive producer. Dope. So tell me about the museum, you know, the the the, uh, the album creatively, man. Like, what can you say about it? You saying shit? <laughs> okay. Right, or don't. I don't know shit. Uh, I mean, do you have any favorite joints you like off of it? Or you like things you think people should check out? Maybe a sleeper, you know? Okay, dope. What are you uh, working on, like, for the next video or next like joint that's going to be pushed a little bit? Usually, I'll pick the street single, the label picks, the radio single. Okay. The album drops and media critics, radio fans, kind of you know let you know, you know, how they feel about certain records, and then you know pick it from there. Cool, man. So. uh what uh what are you guys working on right now? Are you gonna go back to the video shoot and do that? Yeah, the, yeah, the dub shoot. Video shoot on um, this dub magazine project. Um let me check it out on MTV two dot com on the host and um we're wrapping up today so we're about to go around the corner to the body on the shit at the park, you know what I'm saying, and get it in, huh? Definitely. When is it gonna air on TV? You know? Um maybe you have to check your local listings for that. <laughs> okay. Spoken like a true spokesperson, man. Alright man, thanks a lot. Dubcnn.com here with game. Stop seeing that, man.